Valiant GM here, and today I want to talk about the first character I will be playing in Baldur's Gate 3. This is honestly just a very fun video. I've been very excited for this game for a long time. I've been playing Early Access for close to two years now? Three years? Something like that? And I'm really excited for this game to launch, and I want to talk about the first character I will play in a solo run, because I can. That's what having a YouTube channel is all about, right? I needed a new video game for a long time, but I'm excited. Larian Studios has been doing a fantastic job and I just wanna talk about the game for a little bit and talk about my first character. Also something I've been doing for a long time is coming up with a backstory for my character. I think it's very natural to do this in Baldur's Gate 3, but I've been doing this since I was a kid, ever since I started playing video games which is probably why I gravitated to a game like D&D because I've been making backstories for so long in my head. For me, it helps make the game a little bit more fun and helps me drive my choices. What was the background of this character helps me decide, are they out for themselves, out for other people, are they out for money, etc., etc. It makes the game more exciting and also helps me stay consistent. Now let's just get into it. The character is going to be a half elf and the class is going to be a rogue, most likely thief but I'm still debating. Might play Arcane Trickster, but I'm probably gonna be leaning into Thief, and here's why. The characters I tend to love to play and often relate to in stories are the ones that don't really have anything special about themselves, but they help the people that are special or that have that characteristic of magic or they were chosen, whatever the case may be. I like the ones that help. In the game of Dungeons and Dragons, I like to do this because it kind of helps the other people around the table shine a little bit more. I like helping them on their journey. And in a game like Baldur's Gate 3, that's really gonna be replaced by the NPCs, the companions that you have, and helping them on their quests. Some are out for revenge, others have been chosen or are on this quest that's very secretive and dangerous. I like to be the character that helps them on their journey of discovery or whatever the case may be. And it really does kind of help in a game like this because I mean, that's kind of what your custom character is doing. You're, you're kind of in the middle of everything and helping the others figure stuff out. So it kind of works for what I really like to do in games already. I am here for discovery. I'm here for the shenanigans that we'll be getting up to. And yeah, that's just, that's just the fantasy that I like to lean into in games like this. Now I will be picking the urchin background. Urchin is actually my favorite background in D&D. I kind of like the humble origins of it. You don't know who your parents were in and out of orphanages or you're a runaway, whatever that happens to be. In my case, I kind of like the idea of this character was a runaway of some kind, mostly on the streets kind of defending for myself. This character likes to get in over their head. They like to get into something and they're kind of like, how do I get out of this? You know, I think that really helps with that rogue-like class. I will be leaning into dexterity because rogue and wisdom because of the urchin background. I like the idea that I have a strong sense of survival. I've worked with very shady people so I can kind of see when someone's lying to me. And leaning into more of a deception type of charisma because my character is used to getting in over their head and maybe having to lie their way out of scenarios. But that's my first character and I'm really excited to get into this game as you can probably tell because I'm making a video out of it. Yeah. Now, what's so cool about this game is that it's in the Forgotten Realms and many of us, including myself, have already played in the Forgotten Realms. And you can kind of remake a character that you have already played and bring them into Baldur's Gate 3. For myself and my wife that are going to be playing together in this game, because you can do that, we're going to be remaking characters that we have played in the tabletop game. I played a high elf divination wizard named Braz and she played a tiefling Tempest cleric named Kai. What's really fun about that is we're kind of doing a what if scenario. In the backstory of these two characters, Braz had a vision of a dragon attacking a town. These were characters that we wound up playing in the Ice Pyre Peak game from the Essentials Kit. And so that's what set him on this journey. Kai's backstory had to do with she was left at the Temple of Umberly as a young child and she was forced to serve Umberly. And in her backstory, it was water deep. Well, in this what if scenario, she was actually left at the Umberly Temple in Baldur's Gate. And Braz had a vision of mind flares attacking a town. And we're gonna kind of run with that and play these two characters because that sounds 
super fun. And that's what this game is all about. Thank you so much for watching this video of me basically talking about my excitement and what I'm going to play. Truly, I would love to hear what you guys are going to play down in the comments. Maybe leave a like on this video if you are liking what I do here and subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to make more videos like this. Love talking about backstories. I love being creative and, and seeing what else we can add to this tabletop game in this way. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video.